All right, so we switched rental cards. Now I have a Chevrolet Malibu. I'll put the year once I actually look at the manual. But in this instance, uh, this is the vehicle that now has replaced the Spark. The Spark I didn't mind, but there were a few things that had broken on it today, like the fan speeds, they stopped working. And additionally, the torque converter kept shuddering. And basically the car just really didn't want to go anywhere. It was really huffing and puffing today. It huffs and puffs usually, but today was a bit extra and it's not incredibly hot outside. So uh, I went to Enterprise and I was like, hey, do you guys mind like taking a look at this? Plus also the tires were making a ton of noise. I said, do you guys mind looking at this because uh, this vehicle is doing some things that I'm not necessarily a huge fan of and it's making me a little bit nervous. So they uh, were like, no, nah, we'll just switch you out cars. No big deal. So they put me in my grandma mobile, the Chevrolet Malibu. I feel like I should go play bingo today because like it would just be the perfect combination. A Chevrolet Malibu, a purple wig, cigarettes, a bingo bag, daubers, and a few trolls. I'm absolutely just a fan of it. So in this instance, this is what I have now. I do like the performance a lot better than that of the Spark. Um, the 1.5 liter turbo four cylinder is actually pretty fun to shoot out the gate. And the CBT that's in here doesn't do uh, like a lot of the rubber band effect. And also the fake shifting is pretty much eliminated unless you really push it, which in this car, you will not need to do so. So the uh, on the screen, you'll see the engine output. Uh, with that, I don't have the details right away because I just left Enterprise. But in this instance, uh, this is what we have at the moment. Gas mileage on this, I'm expecting to be a little worse if we're being honest. This is the one thing that's gonna suck about getting into this car is the gas mileage is gonna high key blow because uh, the Spark, it was a $20 fill up and I was good to go for like a week. This one is gonna be probably closer to 40 or 50 bucks. But I sense the tank will last me a while because I do mostly highway driving. So shouldn't be much of a big deal. Interior wise, not too bad. This one's definitely a lot cleaner than that of the Spark. However, I will say is who the hell tears up carpets like this has been done. And then on top of that, why are we stealing floor mats? So floor mat got taken. I don't know who took it, but I got to tell them. And I did tell them, but Enterprise was already made aware of it. So I was just like, oh my God. And it took pictures and actually, and it actually date stamped it. So in this instance, um, just wanted to keep you guys aware in the loop there, but yeah, a little Chevy Malibu, exciting. I feel kind of bad for giving up the spark because I mean, it did do really well on gas, but yeah, it was just at this point, it was time for it to, uh, it was time to really consider switching out vehicles, especially since I called Chevy and we're still looking at September to even remotely see if the car can be repaired, which it can be, but it's it's about the part. The one thing I will say about this vehicle is I think a wheel bearing is getting ready to go out. So we'll tackle that when the time comes, but literally if you get into a rental car, you're guaranteed to get something broken no matter what. So at this point, I'm just accepting fate and I'm gonna keep this car until it, um, cannot be driven. And until I get my other car, which is an EV back, I've really been wanting them to give me an electric Chevy and they won't because they don't have them. But it's okay, I guess. Somehow though, still kind of bitter. I'm like, I'm really hoping that they fix whatever's going on with these cars because if EVs are the future, you gotta have parts for them. This is a bit ridiculous. Also, I'm really glad that the brakes on this Malibu, they are sensitive because the spark, I still kept rolling forward even when the brakes were depressed about halfway. So I reckon probably there was an issue with the calibers as well. I mean, just to put it into perspective, this one just has a humming wheel bearing, which I mean, will probably go out at some point. And then I'll have to trade this one back in for another one uh, when the time comes. And then we'll do review on that one. But it's not bad. I do like the space in here. You know, Chevy with their obnoxiously large and phallic looking shifters like that of the Prius of 2001 and all the Toyotas back then. But there is a pretty decent amount of space here. It does have the automatic start stop thing that you can deactivate. I'm leaving it on because fuel economy. And then I also have heated seats, which is gonna be nice for when, you know, I inevitably have this car in winter because my Chevy Bolt is still not done. So yeah. But basically, uh, as you guys can see, different car. Um, 
and CVT acts so much better in this vehicle compared to the Spark. Oh, maybe that... Oh my God. <laughs> it was a rock that was stuck in the wheel. <laughs> I think the wheel bearing is fine. <laughs> That's so funny. I just heard something completely dislodged from the underneath the car. So who knows, I may have just lost something like a screw, but yeah, it. I think we're okay now. So, that's so funny. Oh, it, it's still there a little bit. It's just a little bit of a grind. Who knows, maybe it just needs to be driven. Maybe this car sat a while. But yeah, it doesn't drive bad. You know, suspension's pretty smooth, so it's a Chevy. It feels like a boat, it is what it is. But yeah, if anybody has any questions, by all means, hit me up, but thanks for watching, and we will see you soon with another. Have a good one.